Have you ever woke up in the morning you feel really great about your life? You know, you get ready for work, you rush out the door, you go to work, and as the day moves forward, you start feeling irritable and discontent. You feel like, man, oh man, my sobriety really sucks. What's going on? And you might think that you need more meetings, you need to talk to your sponsor, maybe get a little more active, which are all great things when you're in a recovery program. But you seem to analyze external things that you can do to help yourself with your rotten day that you're having. You know, I used to do that a lot a lot and I've been sober now for over 25 years and in this video I want to share with you something that I do when I'm moving through my life or my day and it turns crappy. I do something that you might hear in recovery programs often especially when you first start. I know in recovery groups they do talk about it and in therapy groups they may talk about it and what it is the acronym HALT and what that stands for is hungry, angry, lonely and tired. As we move through our sobriety, we become really self-aware. Our self-care awareness goes up as we move forward. A lot of times when we're having a bad day, first thing you want to check is how are you doing with your self-care? How are you doing with your basic needs? Do you feel hungry? Did you eat properly that day? For myself, if I don't eat properly, I start to feel agitated, I get impatient, I feel anxious. It's really bad for me not to eat three squares a day. You know, so feeling hungry for me, and I know for other people, it's a really bad thing. Do you feel angry at somebody? Are you resentful? You know, something somebody might have said to you a week ago or a day ago, or maybe your wife said something to you, your mom or your dad that you've held on to and you feel angry. You know, anger and resentment can eat at us, eat at us. And it, you know, it slowly, slowly deteriorates our emotional and mental health, especially if we're obsessing on it. So if you feel angry or resentful, you need to address that with somebody talk about it. Maybe you need to make an amends. Maybe you just simply need to talk to your sponsor about your anger, the anger that you're holding inside. Anger can corrode us inside emotionally and mentally and resentments can, we can obsess on them to hear it at 10 buck too. And another thing is loneliness. I don't really have a problem with loneliness. I enjoy my own company, but when I feel lonely, lonely can cause sadness, can cause depression and it's one of the biggest things that people relapse over believe it or not that and anger but loneliness can cause you to want to drink drink to soothe the loneliness so if you're feeling lonely you need to reach out right away maybe go to a meeting talk to your sponsor tell somebody about it and it doesn't matter if you're in a big crowd you can still feel very lonely usually we're having emotional difficulties and that's what's making us feel alone and we need to talk to somebody about that and the one that gets me the most is tiredness if i don't sleep well i get agitated my whole world gets foggy i get depressed i feel sad i'm not able to fully involve myself in my daily life tiredness to me is one is the number one that i need to watch out for so sometimes or maybe a lot of times in our sobriety, we have a great program. We are working a great program. We're just letting ourselves go. We're not eating properly. We're not paying attention to our resentments and anger. We feel a little lonely with ourselves, emotionally lonely with ourselves. And we need to talk about that to get that off our chest before we can get back to normal. And the other one is tiredness. Maybe we're just not sleeping properly. You know, in sobriety, we, you know, life comes at us full, you know, full speed sometimes. And for myself, being sober, I have a great big life and I need to take, be aware of myself when things start going, like when I start going off the rails. And a lot of times, it's not really my program that's suffering. A lot of times, I'm not treating myself well. I'm not looking after my basic needs as a human being. And that's what HALT is all about, is self-care, self-awareness. So next time you wake up in the morning or you're going through your day and you feel awful about things, just do yourself a little inventory. Are you angry? I mean, are you hungry? 
Are you angry? Are you lonely? Are you tired? It's amazing how effective that is. It's amazing. But when we're in this situation, it's very hard to practice. But for myself, I will take a moment out and I'll just go through the list. And I'll tell you right now, usually it's hungry. And usually, well, I shouldn't say one or the other. A lot of times it's not lonely, but sometimes it's hungry for me, angry and tired. I, like I said before, I don't feel lonely that much, but it's usually one of the other three. And what I do is I dress it right away and I get on with my life. So you're probably working a great program. Just keep an eye on the self-care and become aware of your surround. Just become aware of how you're doing in your life when it comes to your self-care. I can't exp I can't emphasize this enough. It's a basic thing. It's hard to master because we get caught up in the moment and we think we can handle life on life terms all the time. And we can't, we're just human beings. Sometimes we just all need to take a look at ourselves, our basic things about ourselves and address them. It doesn't always have to be a big deal or you're working a lousy program. It can just be one of those four things. Okay, thanks a lot for stopping by. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. That's what we do here, people. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. I'm just off of my cottage. I just bought this cottage about uh, six months ago and I'm just up here today. The weather's about plus seven here in Pembroke, Ontario. And you know, with the coronavirus going on out there, I just want to say to all of you, be safe, practice physical distancing. I'm praying for you and I want the best for you all. And, and this will pass, guarantee it, okay? I'll see you next week and have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you.